Uh, yeah, it kind of, when they asked for my list, um, kind of had a feeling that they're shopping me around. And then when I started seeing some of the teams that I thought I might have gone to pick up other defensemen, and kind of the only team left was Anaheim. And my wife even said, like, literally five seconds before Yarmo called, she's like, well, Anaheim's been kind of quiet this trade deadline. And literally five seconds later, Yarmo called me. So she was like, oh, my, I just had a weird feeling. Um, so... Health-wise, where do you feel like you are right now? It's just, you know, just a bone bruise, which is good. Um, it's getting better and better. So I'm looking to, you know, try to get my foot in a skate here in the next couple of days and you know, hopefully um, be on the road trip and get my first game in. Okay. As you, as you were, like I said, watching the day progress, you know, like I said, they had asked you, was there a thing where you're thinking if – Anaheim got in this mix here. Are you thinking if? You yeah, know, I mean, yeah, I, I was and, 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 yeah. couldn't be more excited. Obviously, yeah. to be able to come back to a, an organization that I'm familiar with, knowing all the guys, you know, everybody's still here. Um, played with five guys here on the team, and um, to be able to go from, you know, a struggling year to a legit Stanley Cup contending team, is you know a dream come true. Have you analyzed the roster a little bit and said and you know, determined that it's a good fit at this point? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm just watching the games and realizing their style of play is it just fits me perfectly. Um, you know, they're a big, heavy, fast team, physical, but also you know, offensive. So. I'm really looking forward to you know stepping on the ice and joining the team. Hey, I know you've obviously played against them the last few years, but as you see it, how does how does how do things look now versus you know things then? I mean, it's obviously players come and go right over um, the few over the years and whatsoever. But. And they've done a great job of of mixing in, like I said, size, speed, strength, and and, and talent. Um, you know, right from all all seven defensemen can play, you know, big minutes and. And play a physical game and, and, and join the rush, skate, make plays. And that's that's kind of the name of the game now. It's, it's changed a little bit where you know you have to be able to make plays. You have to have that good transition game from you know defense to offense and, and be able to come with that second wave of attack. And uh, you know, Anaheim does that perfectly with you know their D you know, jump up in the play and like I said, make that second wave and you know their forwards are big and heavy, go to crash the net and you know, like I said, I'm just really excited to to get be part of this you know, organization. Well, I imagine too, I mean they're clear about where they want to go this year. Exactly. <laughs> you, it, I mean, you, you got to think anything but the cup is, you know, unacceptable, and that's and that's one thing that's really exciting. Um, you know, the longest stint I had at the playoffs was with this team when I first got traded here. You know, second round game seven against Detroit. So I'm looking forward to getting back into that that playoff mode and, and go, being here for the long haul. Bruce talked about that edge spring too, and I, I think that that's something too that they were looking for. Do you think that that's going to play well in the playoffs and help this team out? I hope so. I mean, I just, um, I'd say over the years, I've, I'm not going to say call them back, but you know, some of the suspensions have kind of, <laughs> <laughs> kind of uh, played a big part of that. But you know, I've always, you know, had had that in my game ever since I was, you know, whenever I can hit Pee Wee, you know, yeah. I, I look to play a physical game and you know try to make it tough for opposing players in front of the net not make it easy for them to be there and, um, and at the same time and be able to add that offensive um, spark for it as well but uh, you know so you have a good feel for not going over that line now I do saying. yeah okay. I do yes um, but you know you always have to you know uh, obviously in the playoffs it, it just ramps up three notches so you know every you never know when that shift is going to be the most important so you can't take shifts off and, and physical play is a huge part of that